This week, I'll be talking about the 2008 film, The Boy in the Striped Pajamas, specifically how it communicates some of the horrors of Nazi ideology without explicit violence. The film follows a German boy named Bruno. His father is promoted, and the family moves to the countryside a few miles from a farm with some strange people who wear pajamas. In reality, the farm is a Nazi work camp, and the pajamas are the prisoner's uniform. One day, Bruno sneaks out and meets a Jewish boy living in the camp. The two become friends. Meanwhile, Bruno's home life begins to deteriorate due to the secrets of the camp. The story is mostly told from a viewpoint of eight-year-old Bruno, who at the beginning of the film seems to have no concept of prejudice. Near the beginning of the film, he is troubled by a comparatively minor example of harsh behavior. Take this boy to the outhouse in the back garden. There are some tires in there. He will select one, you will carry it wherever he asks. Do you understand? Looking at things through the eyes of innocence makes it more disturbing. For a story about a prison camp, there is very little violence. However, there is a scene where a Jewish prisoner is beaten for spilling wine while serving at a dinner. We only hear what is happening rather than see it. The different reactions of those at the dinner table make for very troubling viewing. Another part of what contributes to the disturbing nature of the film is Bruno's 12-year-old sister, Gretel. She too starts the film innocent, under the influence of both a tutor and an apparently good-looking young Nazi officer, she begins to subscribe to Nazi ideology. In one scene, she very patiently spells out the racist ideology of the party to Bruno. Were it not for the horrible things she is espousing, it could be a very lovely moment between brother and sister. They're no good at anything. They're in there because they're evil. They're the enemy. The enemy? Do I think we're fighting? They're evil, Bruno. Evil, dangerous vermin. They're the reason we lost the Great War. Mm -hmm. Haven't you been listening to anything Herr List has been telling us? No, not really. Dad's not horrible, is he? The way these scenes are constructed, we can feel the toll it takes on innocent lives, something an endless barrage of gruesome imagery would not convey as effectively. <laughs> 